The Marwa region of the Thar Desert is the most densely populated arid zone in the world. The region faces acute scarcity of drinking water with a meager annual rainfall of 200 mm compounded by saline groundwater. People in the region, particularly women, walk kilometers in the desert land under the scorching sun to fetch a 20 liter urn of water. Recurring droughts in the region worsen the situation by affecting not only the availability of drinking water but also of livelihood which is dependent on raid fed agriculture and animal husbandry. However, traditionally people in the region knew how to cope with this hostile environment which helped them to survive for hundreds of years. Unfortunately, with rapid urbanization and modernization, the traditional wisdom is getting neglected and new issues are arising. Jodhpur, the capital of Marwar, is the second largest city in Rajasthan after Jaipur. The city was constructed in the year 1495 with well-planned water harvesting and storage systems. The water management system that existed in the city demonstrates the traditional wisdom which helped generations to survive here. Most of the structures were constructed by rulers of Marwa, philanthropists and the communities themselves. More importantly, the communities together took the responsibility of the management and upkeep of these systems. According to the survey conducted in 1989 by the Center for Science and Environment New Delhi, there were 229 water storage structures in Jodhpur city comprising of ponds, tanks, wells and step wells with an intricate system of channels ensuring the overflow of one structure going to the next. These traditional structures were the only source of water and the water stored in them could be utilized for the whole year in a sustainable manner. The usage of traditional water harvesting system was kept alive till the 1960s and after this period there was a steep fall in the usage of such systems and practices. The breakdown started to happen with the introduction of piped water systems. From 1940 onwards water supply was regularized through the filter house in Chopasni village 9 kilometers away from the city. After 1988 water pipelines were laid from far away villages like Tiori, Balrava and Ransi to meet the new demand for water. Jodhpur thus became a city dependent on nearby villages for its water. However the new systems failed to meet the ever increasing demand. The more the traditional sources were abandoned the more people became dependent on piped water. Villages from where the water was being sourced faced water scarcity leading to conflicts. To address these problems a lift canal was commissioned in 1993 to bring Himalayan water to important lakes as the Kailana and the Takhat Sagar. In 1997 water from these reservoirs reached the city and the surrounding areas. The total water supply to the city in 1997 was over 100 million liters per day which increased to nearly 200 million liters per day in 2004. However this only compounded the problems. Due to easily available water schemes the traditional practices were almost wiped out from the minds of the people particularly of the young generation. Marwar communities especially in Jodhpur city have forgotten the traditional water storage systems. Now the days have come where these systems itself are seen in a pitiable state and full of waste. Bada baudi aaj hu 200 300 saal purani baudi hai. Abbe inhe baudi ro pani na apne koi piyu nahi unhe kaam mein nahi le sa pehli kahi hai ka kaala naal padta jane pani piyu no kaam mein levta. Ha sare ek gharo ke naal hai sare isi talab ke andar aati hai aur bahar se jo bhi kachra aata hai gaadi wale la ke raat ko dal dete hai. ध्यान रहता नहीं रात को डाल देते निगम बना देते वो भी उसी बुल्डेजर को उसी के अंदर डाल देते कचरे को ऐसे करके इसके अंदर तमाम गंदगी मतलब हो गई मच्छर वगैरह हर चीज़ होती है इसके अंदर ट्रेडिशनल रेन वाटर हार्वेस्टिंग सिस्टम्स हैव बीन डिस्ट्रॉयड ड्यू टू इनडिस्क्रिमिनेट क्वारिंग इन द कैचमेंट एरिया ऑफ लेक्स एज अ रिजल्ट वाटर रिमेन्स लॉक्ड इन द कैचमेंट एरिया ड्यू टू विच लेक्स रिमेन ड्राई विद द हिमालयन वाटर कमिंग फ्रॉम द पंजाब Now Jodhpur is facing a surprisingly unique problem of the rising groundwater level. There are places where the groundwater levels are rising alarmingly while the rest of Rajasthan is facing a decline of groundwater. 
As a result, dug wells, step wells and ponds have started overflowing. Basements of houses and shops within the walled city have been flooded and residential buildings are beginning to collapse. Now the government is spending an enormous amount of money to dewater the traditional sources continuously in addition to subsidizing up to 90% cost of the modern water supply systems. Overuse and wastage of water are issues which need immediate attention. While people in Jodhpur waste water irresponsibly, villages just 20 to 30 kilometers away have no water for drinking. A household in Jodhpur city gets water in abundance for 100 rupees per month which is a negligible share of their income, while people in villages around Jodhpur spend more than 35% of their income and nearly 8 hours a day to collect water. Furthermore, contamination due to inappropriate maintenance leads to waterborne diseases. The abandoned water storage structures have been polluted by throwing litter and opening drainage systems into them. Even the pipelines of modern systems are often found broken, allowing mud and waste to enter the entire distribution system. Today, the sustainability of drinking water from faraway places is a challenge, especially with the increasing population and changing climate patterns. Now the time has come to revive traditional water management systems, which is not merely a practice, but culture which needs to be preserved for our future generations. Jal Bhagirathi Foundation, an NGO chaired by Maharaja Gat Singh, has been facilitating rural communities to address water scarcity by reviving traditional water management systems. Villages of Marwar have important lessons to give, especially in revival of traditional water management. Working in 200 villages, Jal Sabhas have been formed that are involved in rejuvenating and constructing water harvesting structures. A community-led water management system has been evolved where communities contribute in revival of structures and then pay user charges for their maintenance. These villages in the heart of the Thar have achieved water security. This experience shows that better water management is possible. A ray of hope still remains. <laughs>